In this video, we are going to talk about the three reasons why women shit test and three ways you can handle it. There are many reasons why a woman will shit test, but here are three of the most common reasons a woman shit test a guy. Later, I'm going to give you three ways you can handle it. So the first and most common reason a woman will shit test shit shit test a guy is because he she doesn't know your character so if you're just in the courting stages or just at the beginning of dating men can say all kinds of things and they could be lies but if she tests you in a way that reveals your true character and your true nature and your true value system then that is what she's going to believe about you and then the second reason is if you've if she's gotten to know you a little bit better or you're even uh, dating or in a relationship and you screwed up, then she's going to shit test you as well. Is it because she wants to know, is this a one-time thing that, that you've done wrong according to your agreed upon values and uh, relationship agreements? Or is this something that you're gonna do again and again? So if you are screwing up in a relationship or acting weak, so it could be that you've made a mistake or it could be that you're acting like a chick if you've, if you've got your balls in her purse, then she's going to shit test you to try and find your alpha if that's what she's looking for. And, and then the third reason why a girl will shit test is because she's messed up. So, for example, if she's had bad experiences in the past with either relationships or in her childhood where she has trust issues with men in general because of things that have happened to her, again, in a previous relationship or even which is probably stems from her childhood. But if she's had bad experiences with men in the past, she's going to shit test you more than n normal because not that she doesn't as much trust you or that, that she distrusts you, but she distrusts herself in watching for signs that should be red flags to her. So there's three ways to handle these shit tests. Depending on where you are in the relationship, you're going to either ignore or tease or talk it out. If it's something silly that you honestly really think is silly and she's just saying, oh, I wish you were here earlier tonight and she's acting a little cold and distant, if there's no big reason for her to feel that way, that you you think that you have not done anything wrong and you're home at 10 o'clock at night or you're, you're not late, let's say you were supposed to meet up and you're late, never be late, but that's a good example. If you had extenuating circumstances or whatnot and she's kind of choked that you're late, then just kind of ignore it. Just ignore it. Don't don't acknowledge bad behavior that's not valid. And I know that all our feelings are valid, but sometimes you just need to uh, let it slide because maybe she's just being cranky, maybe she's on her rag, riding the cotton pony. Women will not like me saying this, but it's true. Our hormones do mess with our emotions. So reality land. So if it's something fairly minor, just ignore it. Now, if she's really acting like put out and she won't put out <laughs> or whatever, then you want to tease her. So the second way is to tease and just to, to make light of it. This is kind of the stage two. If she continues, like so for example, if you ignore it and she it starts to elevate and she's testing you more or getting more cranky, then you're going to tease her about it and say, hey baby, what's, you know, what did I do wrong? What, you know, how can I soothe this? Um, or treat her like a bratty little sister, which is Coach Corey Wayne, Jem. And so that way you move to the next step. Again, if it's not really anything serious, that's a core thing within your potential relationship, your relationship, then she'll probably um, let it slide and you give her permission to be able to laugh about it and not take it too seriously. Now, if at that second stage that she's still mad or whatever, then you need to talk it out. So that's number three. Okay, what is really going on here? Like, did, did I do something wrong? Because honestly, I didn't mean to. I don't know what I did. Let's talk about it because I'm not a mind reader. Ladies, if you're watching this, men are not mind readers. Women are very intuitive. It's part of our biology. Men are not. They're not intuitive. They don't take hint. They don't speak hint. And that's a Matt Boggs one for women. So guys, you need to like, sit down and say, okay, what's really going on here? Let's fix this. Like be my teammate here. Cause you know, I'm, I'm a little slow on the uptake. So you got to fill me in on the details. So that's the three uh, main reasons why women will shit test and the three ways that you 
can and should handle it so that you don't lose your masculine groundedness because as soon as you lose your masculine groundedness with a woman then she's going to continue to shit test you because she wants you to be her rock and part of being her rock is being able to stand up to her when she needs it so what do you think uh which one of these three shit tests have you had and did you handle it correctly did you did you talk tease or ignore it and what was the outcome let me know in the comments if you like this video please click like subscribe click the bell if you want to see my new videos in your feed yeah video feed and if you have a question please write it in the comments